demonstrates some real girl power in a universally loved moment. It's really quite shocking, really, for her, because it's just something it's just so out of character, and we've never really seen that side to her before. Look who's here. Ah, come and see the show. You, you foul, and loads of them evil little cockroach. Hermione, no. Hermione's always been, you know, depicted as the geek, you know, the swat, and after years of, of being taunted, of being called a mudblood, she finally gets her revenge. Villainous school bully Draco Malfoy really should have known better than to mess with our Miss Granger. <laughs> Such a good moment, and uh, the fact that she hits him with a fist, and it's not like a spell or something, it's actually like a physical hit, there's something very satisfying about that. Draco gets it. Quite frankly, he's been asking for it. Actually, originally said in the script that Hermione uh, slaps Draco, and I think they were worried that a punch was going to be a little too... Uh, physical. So I said to Emma, do you want to you know, run this? We, sh we should rehearse it. We should make this as c convincing as possible. Slap me. She's like, no, I'm not going to slap you. I said, go on, slap me right now. Let's just do this, do the motions. And when I said slap me, I was like, movie slap me. I'm not really sure. I feel terrible. I feel really bad. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. <laughs> she just went and just smacked me right across the face, which completely took me. Uh, I didn't know what to do. And I was just like, yeah, that was, that was really good. That was, that was great. And kind of walked off sheepishly. <laughs> Oh. Malfoy, you okay? Let's go! Oh. That felt good. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. It's like a, a shopping centre for wizards, basically. Like me, I'd go Lakeside Shopping Centre in Essex, but they'd go to Diagon Alley. That's one of my kids' favourite moments, the first reveal of Diagon Alley, which is very Dickensian. You do expect you're going to see um, a little... There's broomsticks for sale and quills and ink and owls and bats and strange sweets. and It, it is fantastic. There's where you get your quills and your ink. And over there, all your bits and bobs for doing your wizardry. I wouldn't mind going shopping there. Yes, picking up the odd wand and a little potion or two. Diagon Alley is everything you would imagine. Walking onto that set, you, you just want to go shopping there. Wow! Look at it! The new Nimbus 2000! It's the fastest model yet! I, I mean, I made it up and I just wanted to go into every shop and buy stuff. Coming up in our final part, the final premiere, the final film, and the final countdown. The importance of the moment cannot be overstated. This is it, the final countdown. So, let's get on with the action. It was foolish of you to come here tonight, Tom. The orders are on their way. By which time I shall be gone. And you shall be dead. Dumbledore and Voldemort. The two great wizards going head to head. That is spectacular. I loved playing him, actually. It's, it's a great part. <laughs> uh, so if you love playing something, probably it's a bit easier to... You relish, you relish becoming it or being it. When Dumbledore and Voldemort engage in this battle, I wanted to feel like the earth is moving, and if you were anywhere near it, you'd run a mile. <laughs> what you see in their eyes as they're trying to kill each other, it makes all the visual effects that much more compelling. to maim or seriously injure. How dare you take a witch's wand? How dare you defy your masters? Dobby has no master. 
Dobby is a free elf. And Dobby has come to save Harry Potter and his friends. Dobby's back, but not for long. The ever-loyal house elf earns his place at number three in Harry Potter's greatest ever moments with an act of extraordinary self-sacrifice. Hermione, you're all right. We're safe. We're all safe. Harry Potter. Dobby. I think Dobby dying is one of the greatest because it was so genuinely moving. Absolutely moved me to bits. Hermione, have something in your bag. Hermione. Because he's such an innocent, you know, it's when you lose such an innocent life like that. Um, it's awful. <laughs> awful. Such a beautiful place. To be with friends. Dobby is happy. I wanted the end to be like a, this loss of innocence, really. So the real world, it felt real and kind of brutal. Um, and being on a real beach on a freezing cold day helped us realise that. Dumbledore is so important to the students of Hogwarts because he's almost like this invincible man. I think everyone feels as though if he's in, he's at Hogwarts, then nothing can touch them. When he goes, things, things suddenly feel a lot scarier. Severus. Please. Have a cadaver. <laughs> It, not only is it the death of a father figure, but it's also the end of Hogwarts as being a safe place for Harry to live, particularly it's a, you know, the importance of the moment cannot be overstated. Time to reveal the single greatest Harry Potter moment so far. Now, this is more than a mere moment. This scene takes a full circle back to the beginning of the Potter saga and the world's first introduction to the very epicenter of the Potterverse. Welcome to Hogwarts. To see this for the very first time is a pinnacle moment in Harry Potter. First time the audience gets to glimpse this sort of almost mystical place that they've had in their imagination all this time and it's actually something that's that's real that they can see that's tangible is is amazing it's such a beautiful creation you know this is the place where the fun and games are about to begin bring it on it's an iconic scene the moment when they're first introduced to hogwarts um, and even the, the wizarding kids who have grown up with it, I mean, Harry is rightly amazed, but even Ron Weasley, even Neville Longbottom, Seamus Finnegan, they're all totally blown away, they've never seen anything like it. You get the sense of isolation, you get the sense of splendour and majesty and, and, and sort of grandeur about the place. The whole of Hogwarts is enchanting, really. I love Hogwarts. I, why didn't I go to a school like that? Although rumours abound that there'll never be another Harry Potter novel, the magic still lives on. I have um, a website called Pottermore in which I'm able to share with fans all those bits that didn't make it into the book. And you can be sorted and get your wand and that was, you know, a real give back. Uh, I wanted to do something that, um, that gave fans something they hadn't had before. But don't forget, it's not over until it's over. Hogwarts has one last hurrah to come as it plays host to Harry's climactic showdown. And the ultimate battle between good and evil. 
Only I can live forever. And that, as they say, is that. I hope you enjoyed our little trip through all things Potter. And as the curtain descends on the biggest film series ever, we must remember that it's not goodbye, but merely farewell. No story lives unless someone wants to listen. So thank you, all of you. Um, the stories we love best do live in us forever. So. Whether you come back by page or by the big screen, Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you home.